How is it to go on out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones. Welcome to this week's Tearless Saturday. Um, the, this week, we're, no one voted what to do, but I just chose to do the 3D Mario platformer games because these are such amazing games. I thought I would rank them today. There's nine of them, and we're going to rank all, all of the um, 3D Mario games today. And it's going to be exciting because these are some of the best video games on planet earth. I have so much fun playing these games. Excuse me. We're gonna start out with the one that came out first and that's honestly gonna be Super Mario 64 that came out back in 1996 on the Nintendo 64. And even up to today, people still speed around this game. I love watching people speed around this game. I love watching people beat the game blindfolded. And that's something. I've never seen before about people beating the game without looking. That means beating it completely blindfolded. And and I've and it came out last year on for Mario's thirty fifth anniversary on Super Mario Thirty All Stars for Nintendo Switch. And then Super Mario sixty four for Nintendo sixty four will deserve nothing less than the S rank. And moving on. We got Super Mario Sunshine that came out back in 2002 on the Nintendo GameCube. Which is Super Mario Sunshine. Um, I've only played this game like recently when it came out last year for Super Mario 30 All-Stars. And this is an amazing game. I love the ability to flood and stuff. Like to flood and stuff like that. Where you get to use flood and spray enemies, you can use flood to flow, you can use all these nozzles and the story of Bowser Jr. looking for a mama and the story of of people wanting to send Mario to prison and stuff like that, um, on the game and stuff like that. I thought that was amazing where Bowser Jr. tries to send Mario to prison and stuff and Bowser Jr. looking for a mama. <clears throat> and that was so innocent and stuff like that. And it it is one of the greatest games. It 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 is a vacation type of game. It reminds me of vacation so much. So we're gonna rank Super Mario Sunshine with Super Mario sixty four in the S rank. Moving on, we got Super Mario sixty four DS that came out back in two thousand four on the Nintendo DS, and it's the only game of these nine that I've never played before. Which is Super Mario 64 DS that came out back in 2004 on the Nintendo DS. And we're going to put that in the not sure rank because I created that. Next up you got Super Mario Galaxy that came out back in 2007 on the Nintendo Wii. <clears throat> this is one of the points of Mario gaming. This, this game is so awesome. And I've played it on Super Mario 30 All-Stars. If you, if you never played Super Mario Galaxy, just if you, you never have a Nintendo Switch. Just download Super Mario 30 All Stars on your Switch, and then you can play that. So you can 64 and Sunshine as well. Excuse me. So you can play Super Mario Galaxy. And what I love about Super Mario Galaxy is how the soundtrack is so memorizing to my ears, and the graphics are so beautiful and stuff. Walking around on a sphere, walking around on a planet, and. It was such a fun game. It's like one of the best video games that not many games can top it. <clears throat> and once again, Super Mario Galaxy goes with Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine in the S rank. And then even a sequel came out to this game. Next up, we got Super Mario Galaxy 2, which came out <clears throat> back in 2010 on the Nintendo Wii. Which is Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is one of the points of Wii Gaming too. I love playing Galaxy 2. That I love the addition to Yoshi in this game. And it has some of the same controls like you have in Super Mario Galaxy. But, but I love the addition to Yoshi and stuff. Because <clears throat> Yoshi's awesome. Um, and I love the level designs and stuff. Uh, and the soundtracks once again so beautiful and stuff like that. And, and it's just an awesome game. Once again, Super Mario Galaxy 2 will go with <clears throat> the others in the S rank tier. Moving on, we got Super Mario 3D Land that came out on Nintendo 3DS back in 2011. I remember watching the <clears throat> trailer. I don't necessarily remember watching it. I didn't watch the trailer before it came out. Before I had Super Mario 3D Land on my 3DS, 
I kind of was expecting some like some more 64, some more sunshine, or some more galaxy where an open world and to travel about it and collect where you're collecting. Like for example, in some more 64, you collect stars and you had to. In the hub area of it is Peach's Castle and you collect stars. Some more 64, some more sunshine. It's hub area is the Vero Plaza and you collect shines. Some more galaxy. It's hub area is the Observatory and you collect stars. Galaxy 2 is hub area, of course, is that is that space spaceship Mario's head and you collect stars in that too. And that's why I kind of thought 3 Land was gonna be. Instead, <clears throat> it was level where you have levels in different worlds, kind of like in New Super Mario Bros. You know, make it to the end of the flagpole and stuff. Except you can go in different ways. <clears throat> and I love the Tanuki suit in that game. And it's just an awesome game. Most of Mario 3 Land. I'm not going to lie. It is so awesome. Like, if you've never played this game on 3DS, definitely check it out. It's awesome. It will go with most of the others in the S rank tier. <clears throat> and then I like to consider the game that came after a sequel. Next up, we got Super Mario 3D World. That came out back in 2013 on Nintendo Wii U. Since the Wii U came out in 2012, you had games on Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros. U. And New Super Mario Bros. U was the point of Mario Wii U gaming at the time. <clears throat> then in 2013, they made Super Mario 3D World, which is, I like because they're a sequel 30 million. And Super Mario 3D World, here's what I love about that game, is you can play several different characters. You can play as um, Mario, Peach, Luigi, Toad, and Rosalina. Um, and all the characters are unique in their own way for abilities and stuff. <clears throat> and what I love about 30 World is um, the cat suit. You can use it to climb up climb up walls and stuff like that. It's just an awesome power up to use. And the game was actually quite challenging in comparison to the other 30 Mario games. Up to today, I still think Super Mario 30 World is one more challenging... Um, one more challenging... Video games of all time, but Super Mario 3 World has to be one of the more challenging video games of all time. So we're going to put Super Mario 3 World with everybody else in the S rank. <clears throat> Next up, we got Super Mario Odyssey. That came out back in 2017 on the Nintendo Switch. This was the point of Switch gaming. I love this game. I remember watching the trailer of this game. I was expecting some lots of Mario 64, Sunshine, or Galaxy, where an open world and travel about it and collect where you're collecting. And it was kind of that. You had the Space Odyssey that would make you go to different kingdoms, and then you have power moves you collect in each kingdom. And it was so awesome, and I love being able to play through this game. I bet a lot of people love speedrunning this game too, and <clears throat> and it's just a really awesome game. One of the one of the greatest video games on planet Earth. Once again, and I love Bell to The bosses were so great. Soundtracks memorizing to my ears, and it's just an awesome game. You won't believe how awesome this game is. Um, once again, Super Mario Odyssey will go with the rest of the squad with everyone else in the S rank. <clears throat> but last but not least, Bowser's Fury. This blew our minds away. This game came out back in February of this year, 2021, on the Nintendo Switch. And on the same cartridge, you have Bowser's Fury. You can also play some more 30 World on that same cartridge. If you've never played 30 World or Bowser's Fury, download 30 World plus Bowser's Fury on your Nintendo Switch, and you can play it. And you can play both, play 30 World, so you can Bowser's Fury as well. And Bowser's Fury blew my mind away. I remember watching the trailer for it, and... I didn't know what I was expecting by Bowser's Fury. It had the same power-ups like you have in Super Mario 3 World. He said, but it didn't have any flagpoles like what 3 World had. He said, Bowser's Fury was more like, I guess you consider it more like Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, where an open world and travel about it, collect where you're collecting, and collecting cat shines and stuff, and around like lap cat and stuff. And it's really awesome. <clears throat> the game's just so awesome in its way. Um, and... Uh, and I love how after every so many minutes, Bowser will appear and you get to fight Bowser, collect so many cat shines, and you get the Giga Bell and you fight Bowser this way. And as a short game, it, it is still one of the greatest video games on planet Earth, <clears throat> which is Bowser's Fury. And, excuse me. and it's still a really awesome game, and I love being able to play it and stuff. I just love the ability to um, get the Giga Cat Bell and, and fight Bowser, and I love the ability to use Plessy and go around the hub world and stuff. And it's just full of imagination to it. 
I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of imagination to it, kind of like what Odyssey and the Galaxy games did. It's just such a special game and stuff. Once again, Battle of will go with everyone else in the S rank. There we go. All of them except for Super Mario 64 DS got an S rank tier. Let me know that down how you rank these games down in the comment section below. I'd love to know in the comment section below how you rank these games. Um, and let me know in the comments below what I should do for next week's tier list Saturday. I'd love to know in the comment section below and how you would rank all nine of these games in the comment section below. And that was it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And it was going to be a tough one to make. And have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.